This video will demonstrate listing input in Matrix. To add a new listing, click the Input tab. Click Add New. Select the desired property type form. Three options present at the top of the screen for entering property information. The default is Fill from Relist. This option will populate property information from public records. Fill from existing listing allows one to search matrix and use property information from a previous listing of yours or of an agent's within your office. The previous listing must also be the same property type. Start with a blank listing requires manual entry of all fields. To fill from Realist, select a county. Enter the street number. Enter the street name. Do not provide directionals such as north, south, east, west, or street types, Avenue Drive Boulevard. Click Search. Verify the correct property presents and click Fill. A Start Listing tab presents. Required fields in the listing input process will be highlighted in yellow. All fields on the Start Listing tab must be completed before any other options can be accessed. In accordance with RE Colorado rules and regulations, condominium can only be selected to populate the property subtype if the word condo or condominium appears in the tax legal description. Townhome can only be selected to populate the property subtype if the legal description includes townhome, TWN, TWHM, or a variant thereof. Complete all fields on the Start Listing tab. Please note, the five fields on the Start Listing tab cannot be accessed after clicking Submit Property or the Status tab. Be absolutely certain all fields are correct before navigating to another screen. Incorrect information or information that needs to be changed will require you to delete or expire the listing and begin the listing input process from the beginning. Once all fields on the Start Listing tab are correct and complete, click the Status tab. Click the drop-down arrow next to the Status field. Three options present. Blank space is selectable and indicates a status of incomplete or draft. Incomplete status allows a broker to pre-populate listing information prior to it going active. An MLS number will be assigned, but does not appear in search results. When the listing is in incomplete status, only you, your managing broker, and office staff will have the ability to view it. You may also add photos and supplements to an incomplete listing. Listings will remain in incomplete status for 60 days from the last update. An incomplete listing can be kept for perpetuity by editing the listing and clicking Save as Incomplete. This will allot an additional 60 days before auto-deleting. Active is the status to select if you intend on completing all required fields and activating the listing. Coming soon indicates a listing that is visible in Matrix to all RE Colorado subscribers. This status allows you to let RE Colorado agents know you have an upcoming listing and see the details of your upcoming listing. All required fields must be completed for this status. The text above this field indicates how long a listing can remain in coming soon status. At the end of the allotted time, the listing will automatically change to an active status. If desired, you can manually change coming soon listings to active sooner than the allotted time frame or to pending withdrawn or expired. Coming soon listings cannot be moved to an incomplete status. Please note, coming soon status is not available on all property type listing forms. Select the desired status. Additional tabs are available at the top of the screen. To navigate from one tab to the next, click on the desired tab. 
Red circles with a white exclamation mark indicate a tab with incorrect or incomplete information. The red circle and white exclamation points also appear adjacent to incorrect or incomplete required listing input fields. Do not make the mistake of only completing tabs and fields with red circles with a white exclamation point. Good listing input requires attention to all fields and tabs. Matrix employs what is called dynamic listing input. This means that as you make selections during the listing input process, input fields and tabs will gray out or disappear when they are no longer applicable. Other fields may become required when your selections indicate a need for this. An example of dynamic listing input can be seen on the Association tab. In this example, the Association tab is available and the Multiple Association field is required. Notice that the fields under Association 1 are also required. The tab is available and the fields are required because I selected HOA Yes on the Start Listing tab. Notice when I select Multiple Associations, Yes, and click the Validate button, the fields under Association 2 become required. This is an example of dynamic listing input. At the bottom of the screen throughout the listing input process is a button bar. Click Save as Incomplete to save the listing as a draft. Click Validate to verify that you have corrected incorrect or incomplete information on tabs and fields. Remember, good listing input requires you address all fields, not just the required fields. Click Cancel Input to cancel the input process. Click Submit Property to save the property in the specified status. Please note all required fields must be complete for the Submit Property button to activate your listing. If all required fields are not complete, Submit Property will save your listing as incomplete. It is recommended that you click Validate throughout your listing input process instead of the Submit Listing button. It is also recommended that you always return to the Status tab and ensure the expected status is selected before clicking Submit Property. The listing input process involves addressing all tabs at the top of the page. This video will now highlight some listing input options. For a full view of all input fields, visit the Help tab in Matrix to access the listing input forms. Begin by clicking on the Listing tab. This is where you will provide information regarding the listing agreement. Begin to type your MLS ID in the List Agent MLS ID field. A list appears. Click on your name. This will populate the field. Click Confirm. Continue to address all fields on the Listing tab. When complete, click the Marketing tab. Based on your listing agreement, you have the ability to choose how your listing will be displayed on the internet. This tab is also where the In the MLS Also Market As field is accessible. This field allows one to market a single listing as multiple property types. For example, agents entering a residential listing on acreage who recognize that the property also fits the needs of buyers looking for land could enter the listing as residential and use the In the MLS Also Market As field to also market the property as land. The same address should not be entered into Matrix multiple times. Instead, the In the MLS Also Market As functionality should be leveraged. Click the Location tab. Scroll down to the Map and Location Description section. To place the listing on the map and populate the latitude and longitude, both required fields, click Set Lat Long manually. Use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out on the map. Locate the property on the map 
and click on the property to set the pen. A pop-up appears allowing you to verify you have clicked on the correct parcel. If incorrect, close the pop-up, drag the pen to the correct parcel, click on the parcel to verify the correct address and current owners. Once complete, click Done. The latitude and longitude fields have now populated. Click the Building and Site tab. One must enter the levels in unit above grade. Do not include levels below grade. Next, click the Green Features tab. This tab allows one to market properties with green verifications and energy efficiencies. When complete, click the Parking tab. To provide specific parking features, select from the list of options in the Parking Features field. When using the Parking Type and Number of Spaces fields, do not overlook the More button. The More button will provide additional fields and ensures you can communicate all the property has to offer. Once complete, click the Interior tab. This tab requires the correct square footage be entered for the property. For a square footage guide, please see the square footage companion located in the RE Colorado Resource Center. Or click the red circle with a white exclamation mark to access help and a link to the document. Add detailed room information for all rooms within the property by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to the Room Type field. Select the desired room type and level to add information regarding additional rooms, click the More button. Agents are encouraged to use these fields for every room in a property. The room level for each bedroom, bathroom, and laundry facility is required per RE Colorado rules and regulations. Bedroom and bathroom entries will auto-calculate and auto-fill the fields in the Summary Room Information section. Once all fields are complete, click the Association tab. Begin with the multiple associations field yes-no. You can enter information for up to three associations. Remember, this tab will not be available if you indicated no HOA and or no restrictions and covenants in the Start Listing tab. Click the Remarks tab. This tab presents all Remarks sections Remember, exclusions is a required field. When finished entering listing information, it is recommended that you scroll to the bottom and click Validate. Address any tabs and fields that have a red circle with the white exclamation mark. Click the Status tab Confirm the desired status is selected. Click Submit Property or Save as Incomplete. You will then have the ability to add up to 40 photos and or 20 supplements. For additional information, please contact RE Colorado Customer Care.